Welcome on stage, Arthur. I think you are, are you joining us from Quebec City? From Quebec City, Canada, yes. Nice. So yeah, so um, Arthur will be telling us about material developments for stable, scalable, and efficient organic solar cells. When you're ready, please share your screens. Everyone, thanks a lot uh, for coming to my talk. And uh, thanks again to the organizers for organizing this event. It's always a great time. Uh, I'm Arthur Hensby from Brilliant Matters, uh, Quebec City, Canada, and I'm going to be talking about some materials for uh, OPV, uh, organic photovoltaics, today. So uh, quickly, just a bit about Brilliant Matters. Uh, we are uh, a chemistry company operating in, in Quebec, Canada, and we really focus on materials for printed electronics. So we don't make like printed electronics uh, devices ourselves. Uh, but we more, are more focused on the materials chemistry for these things. So we do R&D, process development, and scale up for materials for the printed electronics industry. And uh, our specialty is really in organic uh, materials and specifically organic semiconductors as the company was founded from some green chemistry techniques to synthesize these organic semiconductors uh, at large scale for organic solar cells. Uh, and we're a startup company, so we're uh, just under 20 employees now, and, and we're founded in 2016. So, uh, as I mentioned, our specialty is sort of these organic semiconducting materials. Uh, our team uh, is made of physicists, material scientists, and engineers who sort of uh, did their uh, edu completed their education in these fields. Um, and so, with these sort of or with these organic semiconductor materials, they're pi conjugated. Uh, organic frameworks that have the ability to conduct charges through the conjugated backbone. And using organic chemistry, we can tune them to fit a wide range of applications. So these materials can absorb different colors of light, they can emit different colors of light, they can change colors, uh, they can be tuned to sense different analytes, uh, etc. And what our company manufactures is in the bottom left here. So these kind of just, you know, it looks like a plastic powder. Uh, and these powders can be dissolved. Uh, when we send them to our customers, either at academic institutions, research centers, or uh, printed electronics or factories, they can be dissolved into inks and printed using different printing methods to make devices like uh, an organic solar cell you like you see in the bottom right. And I'm going to be focusing uh, the rest of the talk on our materials for organic solar cells. So organic solar cells are uh, third generation organic uh, or solar cell technology that has a few interesting features. Uh, one is that they can be produced in really high uh, volumes quickly using roll to roll processing. Uh, and because they're lightweight, semi-transparent and sort of flexible, you can see, imagine them in applications that it might be difficult for a traditional uh, solar panel to fit, such as like a window, window covering to make a semi-transparent power generating window. Um, I'd just like to give a quick shout out to uh, our friend Diego Bagnes at Omni for providing me with these uh, pictures. Uh, it's, it's nice to have a picture of the actual technology. The powders sometimes aren't as interesting. Um, and if we take apart one of these organic solar cells and look inside, there's a lot of layers. So, you know, you have electrodes, substrates, uh, hole transporting layers, uh, electron transporting layers, and active layers. And each of these, uh, different layers uh, has a whole field of research behind it. And we've heard some about that today. Um, and what Brilliant Matters focuses on is sort of what's on the inside of this sandwich. So the active layer materials and then transporting layer materials. Uh, so for example, inside the active layer, you're usually gonna find two different organic dye molecules that can uh, responsible for transforming the energy from light into a usable electric current. Um, so we do have products in the active layer area. Uh, so we have one product that now called G1Y, which is a, a scalable and cost effective uh, active layer system for printed uh, photovoltaics. It's a nice blue color and it can be processed in air from non uh, halogenated solvents, which is quite nice and it's very stable and it gives about 7% in printed devices under a one sun environment. Uh, once again, I'd just like to give a shout out to uh, OET and LTFN for the, the picture uh, at the top right here. And um, so while this is a, a nice result and this product is available, uh, we always want to keep making the material or the, the technology more competitive. Uh, and this, a lot of this work can be done from a materials chemistry perspective. So if we look at the, the progress on the lab scale for these type of organic solar cells, we can see that now the efficiencies being reported are around 20%, which would make this a really